the traffic, dusty roads, narrow streets, temples, and the smiling people will greet you at Kathmandu before starting a big adventure in the Himalayas. This time, I was guiding the Malaysian group to the Annapurna Base Camp Trek, a team full of fun and energy. Our adventure began early morning from Kathmandu. We made the exciting long jeep ride to Pokhara and then continued driving to Jinudada, which was our trekking starting place. It took us 9 hours drive but no one seems feeling tired. Every team member are exciting about their adventure trek to Annapurna Base Camp. After the jeep ride, we continued our trek to Chomrong village. Crossing the longest suspension bridge in the Annapurna region, we trekked two hours to Chomrong village, passing locals and fellow hikers. As we hiked the many steps up the mountain, local farmers and school children passed us and we get to interact a bit and took a picture with them for the memories. We started our journey from Kathmandu at 5 am and we reached Chumrung 5 pm. We did it guys, well done, day one completed. <laughs> Look at the view there, oh my god. Yes, we were tired after a long drive and two hours of trekking, but weather was superb. Mountains were smiling at us. From the rooftop of our guest house in Chumrung, we clearly see the Annapurna and Fistel Himalayan range. Those mountains view don't let us blink our eyes and we forgot that we were tired after the 12 hours of journey. The next morning, we enjoyed the beautiful sunrise with our breakfast and we started our trek to Bombo village for the overnight. From Chumrung village, we descend down to Chumrung Kola, crossed the suspension bridge and hiked up to Sinoa through the farmland and small villages. Mountains and valleys view are always stunning throughout the trek. It took us about 3 hours trek to Sinoa at an altitude of 2340 meter where we stopped for lunch. After lunch, we hiked to another two hours to Bombo village through the forest. It was a pleasure to walk through the forest where we heard birds and the river are continuously singing for us. Day two completed! Yes! <laughs> Once we reached the Bombo, we checked into the guest house enjoyed our free time with the coffee and playing card games after dinner time to sleep the next morning we started our hike to the rally 3200 meters it was a bit chilly in the morning we started our hike with an extra layer as we were walking into the forest after an hour of walk we reached Dovan where only few guest houses waiting to serve the trekkers but there were not many trekkers on the trail which was the effect of COVID-19. After some rest, we continue trek to next place Himalaya. Still walking through the forest and passed by the beautiful waterfall and the temple along the trail. And we encountered the first snow on the side of the trail. Michael, and guess Malaysia. what, yeah. that was the first snow ever seen by my clients. They were so excited and he started to play with the snow already. Yes, it is the first time, right? Two hours of walk from Doban, we reached the Himalaya, where we took our lunch and after our lunch, we continued trek to Devrali for another two hours. 
Yes, higher we go, more slow on the ground. I can feel and understand the excitement of my clients. About 30 minutes before reaching Dawrali village, there was a big avalanche, which happens every year in that place. We crossed the avalanche quick and went to another side in a safe place. Just for your information, in this avalanche, few people have died in the past years. Don't forget about safety and don't hang around in risky areas. Finally, we reached our destination place called the Raleigh. <laughs> so how are you guys feeling? Good, good, good. Today, very stunning view I can see. Yeah, all the snow, very white. Yeah. I'm excited. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We had a great evening with the campfire. The temperature was dropping as we were going higher, but still, it wasn't bad. At night, it was like minus two degrees. A morning for our last destination of the trip, Annapurna base camp. We are all set, ready to leave. Though rally onwards, there is lots of snow in the ground and we have to walk through the avalanche risk areas. I had to warn my clients about the risks and avalanches and we started hiking towards to MBC, Machapusri base camp. The hike wasn't easy as there were diversion of the trek due to avalanches and we had to trek the new trail which was not really good one. Icy, slippery and steep some of the path. But we managed to cross and join the proper trekking trail after one hour of walk. Along the trail there were lots of snow to play with for my clients. The weather was superbly nice and warm when the sun hit us. We took it easy and slow to this trek as there might be the risk of getting altitude sickness and it took us about three and a half hours to reach MBC where we stopped for lunch before on the two hours of walk to Annapurna base camp. The weather is still nice and perfect we enjoyed our lunch and rest, then we keep trekking to Annapurna base camp. Due to thick snow on the ground, it wasn't that easy to hike. We carried crampons, but we didn't use them, as it wasn't that slippery. But sometime, when we step in the snow, our legs goes down about a meter. For us, it was still fun. We enjoyed every step of climb to Annapurna base camp. Even I had done the ABC trek hundreds of times, I did enjoy myself with my clients. The higher altitude, thinner air and the coolness made walking a whole different exercise but the spectacular view made us forget about the exertion for everyone. When we finally reached and stood at Annapurna base camp, the magnificent summit of Annapurna towers over all of us. You see the entire wall of the south face. Then you turn and see the fishtail peak in all its glory. Okay guys, you made it! Woo! Yeah. Woo. 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 ABC! Yes, Mantul! You made it! Woo! Woo. ABC! Awesome! Awesome! awesome. 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 You guys made it! Well done! Uh, yes! We check into the guest house and my clients were happy playing with the snow and making snowmen. And I just enjoyed watching them. Luckily, weather was still good and we enjoyed the sunset too. After dinner, we went to bed waiting to see the beautiful sunrise in the morning. I woke up in the morning. And first thing I saw was all the mountains up close just outside the window. It was a heady moment. We all enjoyed the beautiful sunrise from the Annapurna base camp and trekked back down to the same route in two days to Pokhara. 
where our adventure trekking ended. And we drove back to Kathmandu, then the saddest moment of the trip was going back home for everyone. Wait, you know what? Naturally Nepal once is not enough. See you in Nepal again. Namaste.